One of the best new features in iOS 16 comes in the form of the ability to finally customise your phone's lock screen. Basically, Apple has added watch-like complications to the home screen, plus it has given users more control over their lock screen background, and even the text for the clock. It's not quite the always-on display that some are wanting, but that will likely come with new hardware in the next iPhone, rather than as a software update to existing phones. Apple has definitely set the stage for an always-on display in the next iPhone, and I would be surprised if we didn't get one. In the meantime, however, you might be wondering how to customise the iPhone lock screen for yourself. That's why I've put together this guide. Note that to customise the lock screen on your iPhone, you will need to be running iOS 16. At the time of publishing this video, iOS 16 was only available in a public beta. If you're watching this in late 2022 or later, however, iOS 16 will likely be available to the public. So all you have to do is make sure you're running the latest version of iPhone software. Please hit the like button and subscribe if the video is helpful to you. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. Actually customising the iOS 16 lock screen is very easy. All you have to do is unlock your phone, then hold down the lock screen to start customising. If your iPhone is already unlocked, you can pull down from the top to access the notification screen, and hold down there. To add a new customised lock screen, tap on the little plus button on the bottom right, or scroll to the right and press add new. Once you've done so, you'll start by selecting a wallpaper. Now, on iOS 16, Apple can use machine learning to separate a photo's subject from the background, which can make for some cool effects. So, I'm going to select this photo of my wife. You can then change the filter of the image by swiping right, or select a new photo with the icon in the bottom right. And you can select effects with the three button menu on the bottom. You can change the framing of the image using two fingers to crop or move the image. Then, you can customise the different elements of the lock screen. You can add a widget to the top for information like the date, upcoming calendar events, or the weather. I'm going to go ahead and add this fitness widget so I can keep a better eye on my progress through the day. Then you can move down to the clock, and you'll get some great customization here. You can choose the font of the clock and the colour of all the widgets on the lock screen. I really like this font, so it's what I'm going to select. And I'll make it a nice bright pink to match my wife's favourite colour. Next, you can add up to four complication style widgets. There are a number of widgets to choose from, and there are different sizes too, so some of the widgets take up more than one space. I like to keep an eye on the battery of my devices, so I'll add this watch battery widget. I also want to know about upcoming calendar events, so I'll add this double space calendar widget. And I use HomeKit a lot, so I'll add this home widget. And there we go, I've customised my lock screen. Hit the done button in the top right corner once you're done customising the look of the lock screen. You can also select to have the wallpaper also be used in your home screen. There's one more customization I can make that's unrelated to how the lock screen looks. Instead, you can customize exactly when it will show, based on the focus that you're using. To do so, exit the editor, then tap the focus button to link a focus to the lock screen. Then, select the focus you want to trigger the lock screen. For example, maybe I want this lock screen to show up when I'm in work focus. This can come in handy for those who might want different widgets when they're doing different things. That's really all there is to it. You've now customised your lock screen. Thanks so much for watching this video, and again, please like and subscribe if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.